You, your big-ass van, a long-abandoned world, and the promise of a lost sibling and hopeful future. If that sounds enticing to you, then this week's video is something that might be up your alley. This is Caravan Sandwich. It was developed by the French studio Plain Toast and published by Dear Villagers. It was released roughly two weeks ago, and I'm just getting to it. Part of the reason why should be due to the last two videos I made. Ya boy needed a palate cleanser, but referring to Caravan Sandwich as just that would be doing it a massive disservice. This might be one of my favorite video games that came out this year, so instead of wasting time with introductions, let's just jump straight into it. The main thrust is that you play as Saj, a resident of the consortium Space City that goes to the exploited planet of Sagalo following a distress signal let up by her missing sister. It's a simple story, but it gets to the heart of itself through the world and the characters that you interact with, and the environments that you explore throughout its runtime. You see how the terrains have changed from the consortium's presence and exploitation on both economic and environmental fronts. You encounter the Renados, Sagalo's amphibious and indigenous populations, who still live on the planet following the change in climate. You meet several small groups of former workers and colonists who stay behind on the planet following the Consortium's departure. And you see and interact with them in ways that improve their lives, and this is on top of running into a group of sentient robots named Turing, Lamar, and Nostradamus, a group of nomads, and a mysterious individual the locals refer to as the Sandwich, who doesn't antagonize you, but just sort of follows you around ominously and then mysteriously disappears. It paints a world where the remaining inhabitants are sticking with it and trying to make it work. It's a remarkably hopeful take on a post-apocalypse. It reaches this hopeful outlook by asking and thinking about serious questions, like what happens when the world ends, and what do you do when your purpose in life is irrevocably changed, or how do we leave the world in a better place for the next generation, or even something as broad as what does it mean to be alive in the case of the awakened robots. And while a lot of post-apocalypses will often use these as excuses to revel in humanity's supposed inherent shittiness, Caravan goes, humanity is inherently good, and we achieve a better future by banding together, helping one another, and giving a massive fuck. That might be my reading bleeding into the text, but at the same time, I can't shake that feeling. It's some powerful stuff. Another thing I noticed about this game is that it's incredibly French. Between the names, the music, which I will talk about later, and even the area in a way being inspired by the Provence region of France, Caravan Sandwich might be the most French game I've covered on the channel since Je Sant last year. And in an unrelated bit, I cannot go back and watch that video because I mispronounced Je Sant in a somewhat Anglican way, and I fucking hate it. Why am I like this? Myself being a fucking language nerd aside, I love the picture that Caravan Sandwich paints, and this is extended to the actual video game part of this game as well. Caravan Sandwich is a small-scale open-world game. This might come as a shock because of all the ways that I was describing the narrative and themes just now, but the connecting tissue for all of that is the exploration. The open-world space is a small chunk of Zagala where all the groups and structures I mentioned are located, and the main way you get around is by driving a van that Saj gains the keys of that belong to one of the locals. As an off-terrain vehicle, it can naturally drive in some harsh climates, specifically the rocky cliffs and dunes of Zagala. It's your main means of interacting with the world, and can also be outfitted with a series of gadgets, like a scanner, a grappling hook, a hacking device, an onboard computer for data collection, and a pulley for zip lines. And it's seeing how these devices connect the world that you begin to realize that Caravan Sandwich is a Metroidvania in disguise. And I mean that in the best way imaginable. You find weird shit that you can't decipher the meaning of and then come back with that new tool and find some spare parts and quest items that were previously inaccessible, same with different areas. And this plays into the map design. While the map is smaller, there are signal jammers, eight in total, that obscure the map and make it harder to see where the heck you're going. But once you get all of those cleared out, the world is your fucking oyster. 
there were entire periods where I found myself just driving around the world. Not doing the story, not doing side quests, not collecting stuff, nothing. I was just driving for the sake of driving, and it was nice and contemplative. Hell, I even installed it on my brother's Steam Deck and drove around for a bit as a test, and I found myself burning nearly a half hour. The exploration in Caravan Sandwich appeals to me in the same way that the exploration in Breath of the Wild's take on Hyrule and the Lands Between slash Lands of Shadow in Elden Ring appeals to me. You can just go in a particular direction and see something that's interesting. Which is how I found the robots before they were mentioned in a side quest. And the difference between Caravan and those games that I mentioned is that in those games, everything's trying to kill you. That's not an issue because that's what those games are built on, but Caravan Sandwich is built on the philosophy of having a more contemplative vibe. You know, like when you go for a walk and use it as an opportunity to sift through your thoughts and feelings and just let it all wash over you. And this is a nice feeling. I frequently forget what it's like to just load up a game's world and just get lost in it. I usually find myself going, go here, fight thing, tick off items on list, ADHD brain, go burr because that's just how I am with video games, and Caravan is the first time since Elden Ring where I just sort of slowed down and took things at my own pace. But even then, that pace is pretty brisk because the main path takes about 7-10 to 10 hours to complete throughout 6 chapters. The structure is, find way to better track distress signal, do temporary tasks and explore to get the components needed to make a new gadget that lets you progress. And while that is a good formula, it can be a tad reliant on it as it progresses towards the end. With the material cost that can get to the point of non-common components, which are red, yellow, and purple, being harder to come by as opposed to the more common green stuff. But that ultimately doesn't interrupt the flow because I was able to get what was needed through the power of zoning out. You do eventually unlock teleporter points if you don't feel like driving everywhere, but since the distance between areas is so small, I didn't mind just driving. Overall, the experience of playing Caravan Sandwich was just something nice and pleasant. The other thing that I want to go over is how this game looks and sounds. Caravan Sandwich has some strong art direction, and a lot of that is showcased in the technology of Sagalo. It's cobbled together secondhand and is in dire need of repairs, but still works through the sheer will of the inhabitants and plenty of welding. This is best seen in the van itself and those robots I keep mentioning. They're all cobbled together from random pieces and managing to make it all work. The same goes for the architecture. They're these somewhat still functioning broken down slabs of concrete and industrial equipment that would look brutalist as fuck were it new and in a completely different art style. And of course, I gotta shout out the music. It was made to the French composer Antimony. A lot of it is these nice ambient tracks that go with the vibe of the hopeful future that Caravan is going for. You've no doubt been hearing it the entire time this video was going. The entire soundtrack was put up officially on YouTube, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Caravan Sandwich is a delightful little exploration-based metroidvania that can be completed in around two or three sittings. It paints a world that, while devastated, is still worth it at the end of the day. Its more relaxed approach to exploration is to be commended, and while it's not entirely the same thing as Jusant, it does fill the same role that game did for me a year ago in the form of being a calm island in a hectic time. If that at all sounds appealing to you, Grab your keys, gas up the van, and get to exploring, because Caravan Sandwich is something that you don't want to miss.